Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best-selling author, and the only three-time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. Why do so many businesses struggle while others seem to explode overnight? Do you wish you had the secret to this type of exponential growth? Now, I've scaled more than 20 businesses to over $100 million, and it's not just luck. In my new book with Mark Tim, Mentor to Millions, you'll learn the repeatable framework I use in all my business ventures for massive success. Order at KevinMentor.com and get over $1,000 in bonuses. Head to KevinMentor.com. Welcome to the podcast. This is your co-host, Seth Green. Today, I have the good fortune to be joined by Emily Vavra, who helps purposeful entrepreneurs Find their prestige, grace, and zone of genius with the It's Emily Method. Emily, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Seth. I'm pumped to be here. All right. So let's go back in time. How'd you get started? Absolutely. Well, it was over a decade ago. I was in my early 20s. I grew up in the Midwest, so I lived in Minnesota, and I was working multiple jobs. I was a nanny to four boys. I was a massage therapist. I did every odd end job to make more money. And I was searching, searching for what is something I can do to create wealth, to have more excitement in my life. I just felt like I was going through the motions. And I met a woman at the gym who was doing this thing called network marketing. And I had no idea what the heck that was. All I knew was she had energy about her. She looked like she was living her life with massive intention. And what I did was studied her. So I added her on Facebook, Instagram, and I just was like, I don't understand. How does she have all this freedom? How, how does she have the ability to wear yoga pants in the middle of a Monday? And, you know, she was at these conferences and speaking and doing all these things in the health and wellness arena, which I loved. And so after nine months, Seth, of watching I just got the courage to call her and say, Hey, you know, would you meet me for coffee? And we met up at in Minneapolis and I was 23. She was 33 and she agreed to mentor me. Uh, but she made it really clear that if I wasn't going to follow her lead and, and match energy for energy, then, then she was going to be out. And so that was my moment. Uh, where I said, oh my gosh, I want my life to change. And, you know, I always say when the, the student is ready, the teacher appears. So I started from nothing. I moved in with her and had a mattress on the floor. I spent the first two years not spending any money unless it went back into my business and developing myself as a leader, as a woman. And literally all I did on the weekends was read personal development books and dove in. And that's the foundation for what you see now. (laughs) That's absolutely incredible. I am sure the longer version of that story should be in a book somewhere if it isn't already. So you took a new definition to mentorship and all in, I mean, literally sleeping on a, moving in with someone is taking mentorship to a whole new level. What do you think were some of the most important lessons you learned from that experience? What it really takes. I mean, when you model someone and see that it's not just the glitz and the glam and the success. And even, you know, when I would model her and and watch her do a meeting and watch how she would close a sale and how she would get people to buy into her vision, the leading up to that and what she did day in and day out and the simple practices that we hear people talk about, meditate and pray and read this and do your exercises and make your vision boards. But she was actually doing that. And, you know, that is something that I'm forever grateful for because that's what I started to do. Even though when I started to do it, I was like, this feels weird. 
mean, I grew up with a single mom and, a, you know, just a whole different mindset. So when I had someone ask me, you know, if time and money were no longer an issue, what would you be doing? Seth, that was really hard for me initially because my, my limiting beliefs, my financial blueprint was not there. And so it was just being thrown in um, to this energy of somebody who literally was at a whole different frequency. And I just saw what it really takes. And I think so many times we see success on stage, on social media, and it's like, okay, I want that, but are you willing to do what it actually takes to achieve it? And that's what I saw firsthand. And I'm so grateful for that because it's the hard work. It's the discipline that is not that sexy, but that's really what it takes. <laughs> Absolutely. So those are some amazing lessons and some amazing writer downers as we call them and shark bites from when you started. Talk a little bit about the amazing business you've built now. Yeah. So now over a decade in, I'm able to serve my network marketing community. They distribute a health and wellness product of 180,000 people worldwide. And so I'm primarily in the U.S., but also South Korea, Europe, all over the place. And so now, it, I mean, it's amazing that we have people that take our products, consume our products, but they also are making an extra income. I have people making residual wealth. Um, and one of them just tried to call me right now. Um, and, you know, that impact is is amazing, but it's not only the, the money that that is great. It's it's the mentoring and the people that have joined me and, and they've transformed and now they don't need me anymore. And it's that duplication of helping people wake up from their slumber, helping people realize that they can have whatever they want. And that's what I'm most proud of. And, you know, for me, um, all these lessons I've learned, that's why I, I continue to produce different content, different speaking engagements that I do, that I'm just teaching everything I've learned, the mistakes, the good stuff, the shortcuts throughout the years um, that has helped me design my life. And now, you know, today living on the Pacific Ocean and doing what I want, when I want, all that stuff, um, that, that is, is what's transpired over the past decade. That is absolutely incredible. Tell us a little bit about the It's Emily Method. This is a method that I created after, after really, you know, taking inventory of the questions I repeatedly get asked. <laughs> I mean, it's the same messages. Uh, I'm not confident. How do I gain more confidence? I don't know how to close a sale. I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to dress. I feel like I'm overwhelmed. I feel like I don't have proper energy. I'm dealing with these limiting beliefs. How do I build a team? How do I lead a team? How do I be a leader? All these things repeatedly I've gotten asked and I know all the answers. And so finally, when the pandemic hit, I said, okay, what am I going to do with this time when I'm not flying and traveling and speaking? I'm going to create what I meant to create. And so I took a couple months of recording, deep diving, soul work to produce this program that's an eight-week program that really guides people through everything that I believe that's required to build the foundation for a successful life and a successful business. What are you finding was just a couple of the most common questions um, you get asked? We want them to get the It's Emily method, but what are some of the biggest struggles that folks in your industry are dealing with now? I would say overwhelm, absolute overwhelm is, is one of the biggest struggles that people are dealing with and uh, comparison and feeling like they're behind or feeling like they're inadequate. And I, Seth, I believe it's because of social media. I believe that, again, all you see is people's highlight reels. You don't know what happened to them leading up to this experience where they just built this new business or whatever. Um, and all of that is, is limiting beliefs. All of that, uh, the overwhelm that I was talking about is lack of discipline. And I believe now more than ever, you have to be so disciplined. And I'm sure you can attest to this, you know, and all that you do, Seth. Um, but 
for me, that is something that I've had to master. Otherwise I'm pulled in a hundred different directions. I will not create what I'm meant to create. I'll copy somebody else. I will feel stuck. I'll have a low frequency uh, vibration. I, I won't have the energy to serve at the level that I can serve. And I, I really believe that people learn, need to learn how to say no to more things so they can say yes to the one to two things that actually are going to move the needle forward and, and really have the blinders on. You know, I always think of myself like a racehorse and I put those blinders on because that is how I've achieved all that I've achieved. Uh, and, and it has not been, you know, just going day to day, just saying, Oh, if I feel like it today and I'll, you know, if it, it's, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. No, it's like the utmost focus and discipline that is required to create something great. And then one day you wake up and you're like, Whoa, that happened. But that happened because I was intentional. Absolutely. What do you like best about your industry? Oh, definitely people development. It's a great, it's a great playground. It's a great place for people to get into entrepreneurship. And there's not a huge overhead. There's not a lot of buy-in. Uh, so ordinary people with no business experience can come in and they can get mentorship and it, it's developing people that hands down, it's watching a, a stay at home mom who lost her confidence, come in, learn how to make some money and have her light turn on and watch the transformation occur. That's definitely it for me. <laughs> You've built such an amazing network that obviously helps inform your net worth. What are some of your top strategies for getting your message out there and, and getting others to realize and join you on this journey? Yes. Well, at first I did the traditional go to local networking meetings, BNI chamber of commerce. I, that is truly what I did. And it, you know, this was a decade ago, I had 900 Facebook friends, but I'm so grateful that I, I learned the old fashioned way, how to talk to people, how to meet people. And I still believe that is just so wildly important. Um, but building, building it that way, making, making new friends, just going Seth, where I can be around people that I can learn from. I am always curious. I always want to learn from people, but I also want to serve people. And so that's the mindset I have, no matter what I do is, is how can I serve you? How can, uh, I, how can I make your life better? And so I've just been a collector of friends and then I transferred all that to social media. And I have the same mindset with social media is just adding value. What is something that I've gone through that I can teach my audience and, and sometimes it's like, wow, I can't believe I'm putting this out there, but I'm like, will this really help someone? And I'm like, absolutely it will. So I, I just go for it and I don't care what anybody thinks. And, and that's, I believe how I've attracted people into my business, into my world, because I just do it with a mindset to give. And if they ever want to join me, if they ever want to work together, awesome. But if not, I just want them to do better in their life. And that's my intention when I go out there to build. So I do things like Instagram lives and social media posts and collaborations and things like that and interviews such as this, just to get my message out there. Uh, but I really, I, I'm, I'm all in to play big. And I have that mindset that this is the long game. This is the infinite game. And when I started social media, I just promised myself, we're going to be consistent no matter what, even if one person comments and it's my mom, you know, <laughs> like I'm going to be consistent no matter what. And that's what I've done for the past decade. And that consistency builds trust and builds a tribe. Absolutely. How has your business evolved, grown or changed during the pandemic? So much. I mean, everybody can relate, I'm sure to this one. Um, for me, a big portion of my life and business is events. And that's how I train my team. I get together with them, build a culture. And so when this happened, it was like, oh my gosh, what do we do? And obviously thank God for Zoom and things like that. But we quickly realized, yeah, we could have a great Zoom event, 
But after a few months in, it was like, no, we have to create an experience for people. We can't just like get on Zoom and talk at them. It's not the same uh, of going to an event. And so that has been a massive shift in our industry. Um, thankfully for me, I'm in the health and wellness world and, and that's on people's minds and also, um, you know, food and I sell superfoods. So that has been a really, really good thing on my end for sure. Um, and, and we continue to grow through it because people also need an extra income and that's what I do as well. Um, but it's just been, it's just been, um, getting people together and getting them to focus has been my biggest thing because people's energy and stress levels are literally all over the place and emotions are all over the place of everything we've gone through. It's just been high and low and high and low. So I've actually worked double time during this whole thing, um, just trying to be a guide for people. I've done more than I ever have in my career, but I also intentionally said, I'm here to serve. I'm able to do this, so I need to show up bigger than I've ever showed up. And that's the mindset I've had in all that I do. So, um, you know, it's, it's shifted quite a bit. I'm definitely ready to get back out there. Um, but it's definitely, you know, it's been great because I believe I said, what am I going to do with this? Instead of sit and sulk in it, I'm like, okay, we got to pivot. And so that's what we've done. What? I know you're committed to learning all the time and working on yourself all the time. Who inspires you? Oh my gosh. So many people inspire me. I, you know, people that play big inspire me and, and people that are living in their zone of genius. And even if it's not, you know, Tony Robbins, even though he does inspire me, what he does, but I just find Seth so much beauty and talking to people that are living in their zone of genius. They have a, a genius about them, whether they're, it's an art form or, you know, I have friends that design tech apps and it's like they design earthquake apps and, you know, that's not even my thing, but I think it's so beautiful and I like to learn from them of, well, how does that business work? You know, I'm just so curious. And so uh, there's, there's a lot of great people in my space in the personal development space that I, that I look up to for sure. But I think it's anybody that's willing to go for it, willing to start something, willing to fail. Th those are the people that just juice me up. And I just, if I can just learn from them and be around them, then, then I'm inspired and I'm ready to continue my my quest. Awesome. What have been two or three of your favorite books along the way? Ooh, my first book I read, I've actually read it every single year for the past decade, but it's Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. It helped me immensely when I got started in this journey. Um, my Another favorite book of mine is Go Pro by Eric Worre, just talking about network marketing and networking in general is a huge one. Um, you know, I also like good to great. I'm, I'm a huge, um, uh, John Maxwell fan as well on leadership. So those are a few of my faves. Fantastic. For our folks watching and listening who want to learn more about you, where is the best place for us to send them? Go to itsemilymethod.com. That's my website. Otherwise, Instagram is always fun to connect at itsemily is my handle. Awesome. This has been Seth Green with Emily Vavra. Vavra. I'm so sorry. John, can you edit that? You got it. it. <laughs> this has been Seth Green. Thank you so much, Emily, for joining us. We greatly appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for watching and listening. We'll see you next time. Do you need money to fund your idea, product, or service? Are you ready to take your business to the next level but need capital to get it done? Kevin Harrington has heard more than 50,000 pitches and knows how to help you make the perfect pitch to get the funding for your entrepreneurial dream. He's distilled the process down in his perfect pitch cheat sheet, and it's yours for free. Just text PITCH to him right now at 727-888-2100. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free perfect pitch cheat sheet. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 to start funding your dream today. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. 
To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.